Hi there, students. To underlie a verb, underlying as an adjective. Notice to underlie is an irregular verb. Underlie, underlay, underlane. Um, and we'll look at underlay in a minute. Okay, so to underlie, it says that something is in a position directly beneath something else. That's the literal meaning. So the bedrock that underlies this house is solid. Um, a stratum of uh, clay underlies the surface. Yeah, lies underneath, lies beneath. But we use this verb to underlie, meaning something that is a basis for something, a foundation for something. So the underlying theory, the theory that gives rise to all this. Um, let's see, the equation E equals MC squared underlies um, uh, Einsteinian physics. It's the base that's underneath it. Yeah, it's the base that uh, go is below. It's the basis for. So you ask, what are the underlying reasons for my decision? The things that support, the things that form the basis of them. Yeah, um, okay, so um, planning should underlie any decision that you make, yeah? It's um, the thing that is below, the thing that supports it, the hidden cause or a strong influence of it. So very often uh, uh, physical problems um uh, have an underlying psychological problem. Yeah, they, they, m your psychological problems can manifest uh, from an underlying psychological disorder. Okay, so the instability in the stock market um, is caused by um, by external factors. So the underlying factor of this um, instability in the stock market are um, f things that are happening in other countries. So fundamental, basic, primary, yeah, below, yeah, the significant cause of something. So I wonder what are the uh, fundamental issues that underlie the war in the Ukraine. Okay, so um, I know you're angry, but try to find out what underlies that anger. What is the reason for it? Yeah, what is the, the basis for it? Where does it come from? Okay, so underlay to underlay. Well, firstly, underlay as a noun. It's a soft thing that you put on a floor before you put a carpet. It's like a, a, soft, a soft thing that the carpet will lie on top of. Yeah, so that's underlay. So if you want your carpets to feel really spongy and good, you need to use um, an underlay. But the verb to underlay means to put something underneath, to support something else, to lay something underneath that provides support. Yeah. Um, OK, so to underlay, to put something in position. Notice to underlie is in position, lie. To underlay, to put in position. And here we go back to the basic difference between to lie and to lay. But also be careful because the past simple of to lie is lay. OK, um, OK, so to under to underlay, to put something under underneath it. Um, 
the um yeah uh there is a photograph on the top but i have underlaid um other designs and these you can see through the uh top photo because it's the photo behind is underlying yeah i underlay it i put it in position okay so to underlie the fundamental basis of something the underlying reason for something um the uh thing that is the basis of it Notice in law and finance as well, you can actually use this word, um, meaning um, something that takes priority over another claim. So, for example, um, maybe you have a first mortgage on your house and you need more money, so you take out a second mortgage. The first mortgage underlies has priority over the second mortgage an underlying claim a priority claim it's in the in the basic position underneath so it has the uh, same sort of meaning okay so what are the reasons that underlie your decision in oh well formality to underlie I think I'd probably give it a 5.5 to uh, 6 in formality. Um, I think use it anywhere, a little bit on the formal side, but use just about anywhere. And then as to origin, um, okay, Old English, under Lickgen, to underlie, to be subject to, to give way to. But really, it's to lie underneath, and that's the idea. It lies, it's in position underneath. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To underlie.